The first step is to brush the hair through so there is no tangles. Then split the hair into three equal sections. And you can do that by just splitting the hair like this, but I mostly find that that gives me three different sizes, but you can always move some of the hair around to make the strands the same size. Another way to split the hair is to take two fingers and then run them through the hair, and that will give you three strands. I personally prefer this way, but you just need three semi-equal strands, and it doesn't really matter how you get there. The way to hold the strands is to grab the right strand with your right thumb and index finger, the middle strand you grab with your right middle finger, and the left strand you grab with your left thumb and index finger. So now take the right strand and cross it over the middle strand so they switch places. Then grab the strand you just crossed over with your left middle finger. So now this is your right strand and this is the middle strand. Then take the left strand and cross it over the middle strand so they switch places. Then grab the strand you just crossed over with your right middle finger. So now this is the left strand and this is the middle strand. Again take the right strand and cross it over the middle strand so they switch places. Then grab the strand you just crossed over with your left middle finger. Then take the left strand and cross it over the middle strand so they switch places. Then grab the strand you just crossed over with your right middle finger. Again take the right strand and cross it over and into the middle, and then grab the strand with your left middle finger. Then take the left strand and cross it over and into the middle, and then grab the strand with your right middle finger. Then take the right strand and cross it over and into the middle, and then grab the strand with your left middle finger. Again take the left strand and cross it over and into the middle, and then grab the strand with your right middle finger. So now just continue those steps until you reach the end of the hair. So when you reach the end of the hair, then put all of the strands together to one and then take a small elastic and tie the hair off. And I will leave a link to the ones I'm using down below. So this is an optional step, but if you want the braid to look a bit fuller and bigger, then lightly pull in the sides of the hair to fan it out. The first thing you have to do is to split your hair into four equal sections. An easy way to do that is to take three fingers and push them through the hair. By doing that, you create four sections. Now take the outer right strand and cross it over the first strand and then under the next strand. Then take the outer left strand and cross it under the first strand and then over the next strand. Again, take the right strand and cross it over and then under. Then take the left strand and cross it under the first strand and then over the next strand. Again, take the right strand and cross it over the first strand and then under the next strand. Then take the left strand and cross it under the first strand and then over the next strand. So that is all you have to do. So take the right strand and cross it over and then under. Then take the left strand and cross it under and then over. Now just repeat that until you reach the end of the hair and then tie the braid off with an elastic. So when you have tied the braid off, then you can just leave the braid as it is, or you can pull in the sides of the braid to make it look bigger and loosen it up, and then you're done.
The first step is to take a small section of hair on the top of your head from your temples to the back of your head. Then split the hair into three equal sections. I'm starting out with two strands in my right hand and one strand in my left hand. Now take the right strand and cross it over and into the middle. Then take the left strand and cross it over and into the middle. Again cross the right strand over and into the middle and hold all of the strands in your left hand. That way it's easier to add new hair to the braid because now you have a free hand to work with. Then pick up a horizontal section of hair on the same side and add it to the middle strand. Then cross the left strand over and into the middle and hold all of the strands in your right hand. Again pick up a horizontal section of hair on the same side and add it to the middle strand. Then cross the right strand over and into the middle and bring all the strands to your left hand. Then pick up some hair on the same side and add it to the middle strand. Again cross the left strand over and into the middle and bring all the strands to your right hand. Then take a new section of hair on the same side and add it to the middle strand. Now cross the right strand over and into the middle and then pick up some new hair on the same side and add it to the middle strand. Again cross the left strand over and into the middle and then pick up some new hair on the same side and add it to the middle strand. Then cross the right strand over and into the middle and add some hair from the same side to the middle strand. Then cross the left strand over and into the middle and pick up some hair on the same side and add it to the middle strand. Then cross the right strand over and into the middle and add some hair from the same side to the middle strand. Again cross the left strand over and into the middle and add some hair from the same side to the middle strand. When there's no more hair to add in, then braid the hair like a normal three strand braid and then tie the hair off at the end. Now you can adjust the hair and pull in the sides of the hair to loosen the braid up a little bit and when you've done that then you're done. So the first step is to split the hair into two equal sections. Then you're going to take both strands and twist them a couple of times to the right. Then take the right strand and cross it over the left strand so they switch places. Again take both strands and twist them a couple of times towards the right. Then take the right strand and cross it over the left strand so they switch places. So that is all you do, you twist the strands to one side and then cross them over each other in the other direction. So again twist the strands to the right and then cross the right strand over the left strand. So now continue those steps until you reach the end of the hair and then secure the braid with an elastic. The first step is to take a section of hair on the top of your head and split the hair into two equal sections. Then you're going to take both strands and twist them a couple of times to the right. Then take the right strand and cross it over the left strand so they switch places. Now hold both strands in your left hand and grab a new section of hair on the right side. Then add the new hair to the right strand and on the right side I add the new hair under the twist. That way it's way easier to twist the new hair into the strand. Then move the strands over to your right hand and grab a new section of hair on the left side. So on the left side I'm adding in the new hair over the twist so again it's easier to twist the hair together. 
then cross the right strand over the left strand so they again switch places. Again hold both strands in your left hand and grab a new section of hair on the right side. Now add the new hair to the right strand and twist the right strand a couple of times. Again move the strands over to your right hand and grab a new section of hair on the left side. Then add the hair to the left strand and twist the hair together. Then take the right strand and cross it over the left strand. Then grab a new section of hair on the right side. Then add the new hair to the right strand and twist the strand a couple of times. Then grab a new section of hair on the left side. Now add the new hair to the left strand and twist the strand a few times. Again take the right strand and cross it over the left strand. Then grab some hair on the right side, add it to the right strand and twist the hair together. Then grab some hair on the left side, add it to the left strand and twist the hair. Again cross the right strand over the left strand so they switch places. Then add some hair to the right strand and twist the hair a couple of times. Now add some new hair to the left strand and twist the left strand a few times. So when there's no more hair to add in, then braid the rest of the hair like a basic rope braid. So twist the strands to the right a couple of times and then cross the right strand over the left strand and then repeat. When you get to the end of the hair, then secure the braid with an elastic and then you're done. So the first step is to take a small section of hair on the top of your head from your temples to the back of your head. Then split the hair into three equal sections. I'm starting out with two strands in my right hand and one strand in my left hand. With your left thumb and index finger, you're going to bring the right strand under and into the middle. Then with your right thumb and index finger, you are going to bring the left strand under and into the middle. So for the rest of the video, whenever you're going to grab a strand of hair, you're going to use your thumb and index finger. Again, bring the right strand under and into the middle. And as you can see, instead of holding the new right strand in my right hand, I flipped it over my index finger. That way it's easier to add new hair to the braid because this strand is not in the way and you now have a free hand. Now pick up a section of hair on the same side and add it to the middle strand. So just slide the hair in between your left thumb and index finger. Then take the right strand on top of your index finger and bring it back to your right hand. Then bring the left strand under and into the middle and leave the new left strand on top of your index finger so it's out of the way. Then pick up a new section of hair on the same side and add it to the middle strand in between your thumb and index finger. Then take the left strand on top of your finger and bring it back to your left hand. Again bring the right strand under and into the middle and leave the new left strand on top of your finger. Then pick up a new section of hair on the same side and add it to the middle strand. So in between your thumb and index finger. Then bring the right strand back to your right hand. Again bring the left strand under and into the middle. Then pick up a section of hair and add it to the middle strand in between your thumb and index finger. And again bring the left strand back over to the left hand. Then bring the right strand under and into the middle and pick up some hair on the same side and add it to the middle strand. Then bring the right strand back to the right hand. Then bring the left strand under and into the middle and pick up some hair on the same side and add it to the middle strand in between your thumb and index finger. Again bring the left strand back to the left hand. Then bring the right strand under and into the middle and pick up some hair on the same side and add it to the middle strand. Then bring the right strand back to the right hand. Now bring the left strand under and into the middle and pick up some hair on the same side and add it to the middle strand. 
Again, bring the right strand under and into the middle and pick up some hair on the same side and add it to the middle strand. Then bring the left strand under and into the middle and pick up some hair and add it to the middle strand. When there's no more hair to add in, then just braid the hair like a normal braid and tie the braid off at the end. So if you want to make the braid bigger, then pull in the sides to loosen the hair up and give it some more volume. So the first thing you have to do is to split the hair into two equal sections. Now pick up a small section of hair from the outside of the right strand and then cross it over and add it to the left strand. Then pick up a small section of hair from the outside of the left strand and cross it over and add it to the right strand. I like to take my index finger and my thumb and pinch the hair where it crosses to lock the hair into place. That way you can let go with the other hand while grabbing some new hair. Then grab a small section of hair from the outside of the left strand and cross it over and add it to the right strand. Again, pick up a new section of hair from the right strand and cross it over and add it to the left strand. Then pick up a new section of hair from the left strand and cross it over and add it to the right strand. So that is all you have to do. So pick up a small section of hair from the right strand and cross it over to the left strand. Then pick up a small section of hair from the left strand and cross it over to the right strand. So just repeat taking a small section from one strand and cross it over to the other strand until you reach the end of your hair. And I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit so you can see the whole process. So when you reach the end of the hair, then tie the hair off with an elastic. So you can just leave the braid as it is, that looks really good, but you can also pull in the sides of the braid to loosen it up and give it some more volume. The first step is to take a small section of hair on the top of the head and then split that into two equal sections. Then cross the right strand over the left strand and move all the strands over to your right hand. Then pick up a new small section of hair on the left side and add it to the right strand. Then move the strands over to your left hand and using your thumb and index finger to lock the hair into place by pinching the hair with your fingers where the hair crosses. Then pick up a new small section of hair on the right side and then cross it over and add it to the left strand. Then move the strands over to your right hand and lock the hair into place just like before with your thumb and index finger. Then pick up a new section of hair on the left side. So before you cross the hair over to the right strand, pick up a small section of hair from the left strand and add it to the hair you just picked up. Then cross the hair over and add it to the right strand. Then move the strands over to your left hand and lock the hair into place. Then pick up a new section of hair on the right side. And just like before, pick up a small section of the right strand and add it to the hair you just picked up. And then cross the hair over and add it to the left strand. Again, pick up a new section of hair on the left side and also pick up a small section of the left strand. Then cross the hair over and add it to the right strand. 
Now pick up a new section of hair on the right side and also take a small section from the right strand. Then cross the hair over and add it to the left strand. Then pick up a new section of hair on the left side and take a small section from the left strand. Then cross the hair over and add it to the right strand. Now pick up a new section of hair on the right side and take a small section from the right strand. Then cross the hair over and add it to the left strand. So now you just have to repeat those steps until there's no more hair to add in. So pick up a new section of hair on the left side and also take a small section from the left strand and then cross the hair over and add it to the right strand. Then pick up a new section of hair on the right side and also take a small section from the right strand and then cross the hair over and add it to the left strand. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit so we can get to the end of the braid. So when there's no more hair to add into the braid, then just do a basic fishtail braid. So grab a small section of hair from the right strand and cross it over and add it to the left strand. Then grab a small section of hair from the left strand and cross it over and add it to the right strand. So if you would like a slower and more in-depth tutorial on how to do a fishtail braid, then I will link my how to fishtail braid for beginners in the upper right corner and also down below. When you get to the end of the hair, then secure the braid with an elastic and then you're done. The first step is to take a small section of hair on the top of your head and then split the hair into two equal sections. Then take a small section of hair under the left strand and this is going to be your wrapping strand. Then bring the wrapping strand to the left side to start out with. Then like a normal infinity braid, bring the wrapping strand under the left section and over the right section. So now you have to add hair in, so hold the strands like this. So hold the left section with your middle finger and then grab the wrapping strand between your pointy finger and thumb. Then pick up a small section of hair on the right side and then add it to the wrapping strand. So just slide the hair in between your thumb and pointy finger and that way you have automatically added the hair. Then wrap the wrapping strand under the right section and over the left section. Again, hold the right section with your middle finger and then grab the wrapping strand between your pointy finger and thumb. Then pick up a small section of hair on the left side and add it to the wrapping strand. So again, just slide the hair between your thumb and pointy finger and that way you have automatically added the hair. Now bring the wrapping strand under the left strand and over the right strand. Then grab the wrapping strand with your thumb and pointy finger. Then pick up a small section of hair on the right side and add the new section of hair to the wrapping strand. Now bring the wrapping strand under the right strand and over the left strand. Then grab the wrapping strand with your thumb and pointy finger. Again pick up a new section of hair and add it to the wrapping strand. 
Then bring the wrapping strand under and over and then grab the wrapping strand with your thumb and pointy finger. Again, add some hair to the wrapping strand from the same side. Then bring the wrapping strand under and over and grab a hold of the wrapping strand. Then pick up some hair from the same side and add it to the wrapping strand. Again, bring the wrapping strand under and over to the right side and then grab a hold of the wrapping strand. Again, add a new section of hair to the wrapping strand from the same side. So that is all you have to do. Bring the wrapping strand under and over to the other side and then add some hair from the same side to the wrapping strand. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up a little bit so we can get to the end of the braid. So when you get to the nape of your neck and there's no more hair to add in from the sides, then just do a normal infinity braid until you reach the end of your hair and then tie the braid off and then you're done. The first thing you have to do is to split the hair into five equal sections so you have five strands. I like to only have two strands of hair in the hand that I'm braiding with, that way it's easier to maneuver all the hair around. So we're starting with the right side, so take the right strand and cross it over, and then cross it under. Then I'm moving the middle strand over to the other hand so that I only have two strands in the hand that I'm braiding with again. Then take the left strand and cross it over, and then under. Again, move the middle strand over to the other hand. Then take the right strand and cross it over, and then under. Again, move the middle strand over to the other hand. Then take the left strand and cross it over, and then under. So that is all you have to do, so move the middle strand over to the other hand, then cross the right strand over, and then under. Again, move the middle strand over to the other hand, then cross the right strand over, and then under. So now repeat those steps until you reach the end of your hair, and then tie the hair off with an elastic. So when you're done with the braid, then you can either leave the braid like this, it looks really good, so you can definitely do that. But you can also pull in the sides just to make the braid look a little bit bigger and then you're done.